Have you ever been staring at the stars wondering, is there a way for me to replicate my data in a reliable, consistent, asynchronous, and near real-time fashion from one managed instance to another? Well, yes, yes there is. It's called Move and Copy on today's Tales from the Field. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Ah, my friends, a warm welcome to Tales from the Field. If this is your first time finding us, give us a like and hit that subscribe. We on Tales from the Field like to drop content on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. On Tuesdays, we put together links, blogs, videos put together by you, the Azure Data Community, for the Azure Data Community. Then on Mondays and Wednesdays, we do this thing we like to call MS Tech Bits. You're watching one of those now. Let's get over to it. All right, today, my friends, we're going to be going over copy or move a database Azure SQL managed instance. It's going to be based off of the documentation you see here on the screen. That is going to be in the comments of the video. When to use this feature today, I'm going to use two of these features or one to use it to manage data growth and performance requirements and create database parity between dev test and a production environment. Definitely recommend thinking about when you could use this feature. We're gonna cover the workflow real briefly later on in the video, but definitely recommend you also read that here in the documentation. Here on the screen, you can see that our storage utilization is almost completely used. And I know that's being used by the Stack Overflow 2010 for Move database. So to manage the growth of our managed instance, we are going to use the Move feature to free up some space here and move that database to another managed instance. We are going to migrate to our data primary MI. Lots of room for growth over here. We're in the green. So we're gonna utilize the Move feature to take our database to that instance. All right, we're gonna select databases on data free MI. Notice these are grayed out right now. How do we get those lit up? Well, how we're gonna get those lit up is by selecting the database we want to move. In this case, the Stack Overflow 2010 for move database. With this no longer grayed out, we're gonna go up here on the top of the screen and we are going to select move. But before we do that, I wanted to show you something. We said that these are going to be consistent at the beginning of the video. So I've created this little table here with a single column that shows us our move status. And I put one row in there before move activity started. Back over here in the portal on our data free MI, you can see I have the stack overflow for move selected. We are gonna go to the top of the screen here. We're gonna select move. When we do that, it's going to provide us information here on the screen. We're going to leave that as is. This is where we're going to fill in our subscription, the resource group that contains the managed instance we're moving to, in this case, data primary MI. We're going to go to review, and then we are going to select start once the screen shows us what we want to see. We're going to start the move process, and over here you'll see that move in progress. We can select that. It's going to show us the details of our move operation. We're going to go ahead and close out of that. We could also connect to our data primary MI and run a query here against DMHADR physical seating stats to get some information. You can see that our move is ready for cut over there. Now we're going to select from our table here on our data free MI. And you can see I've inserted some new rows there. I've inserted the after move activity started because we wanna prove that the move is consistent. So let's go ahead and move ready for completion. We're gonna go ahead and hit complete. We're gonna say, yes, we wanna move the database. It's gonna complete that move. This is a good time to review the workflow. So we're gonna start the DB move. It's gonna do an async seeding then it's gonna get its status. Then we got that move ready for completion. That's where I entered that new row in there. It's gonna do an asynchronous catch up. When we hit the complete DB move, it's gonna do that asynchronous catch up for us, getting our data in sync or consistent on our target side. 
You can see them once that's done, and we're going to get a move complete. And we can prove this out by connecting to the data primary MI, executing the select query against the move status table that I created to be able to prove out that this would be a consistent move. And there you go. We have the after move activity started row that we inserted on data free MI prior to us completing the status. So proving out it is consistent. All right, so look at that, lots of free space over there. But the next thing I wanna do is I wanna take this four copy stack overflow database and get it in sync over on my data primary MI because we're done with it in dev, we wanna move it to the next level. We selected that database. Once again, we're going through the different screens here. We're gonna select our target MI, which is data primary MI. We're going to start the copy process in this case. It's a copy, which is going to be different than our move. You're going to see that the copy is in progress, just like we saw with the operation details in the move. A little bit of different uh, verbiage there, but it's a copy. Now it's saying the copy is ready for complete. So once again, we're going to prove it's consistent by inserting this additional row in the data free MI. And once we do that, we're going to mark this for complete because we want to complete the copy. We're going to go ahead and select yes. Then we're going to get the copy for complete in progress. That's going to finish. It's going to sync up. And now we can connect to our data primary MI, execute the query on the table that we created for our copy status. And look at that, a consistent database that after copy activity started row made it from our data free MI all the way over to our data primary MI database. This is a good time to review when to use this feature. In our case, we needed to move a database because we needed to manage database growth and performance requirements. So we used the move on our for move database and it moved it from our source to our target and deleted it from our source. But we also needed to create database parity between our dev and our staging environment. So we used the copy and it created a copy from our source, leaving it there and making a consistent copy over on our target. All right, there we go. We did a consistent move of our database, moving it from our source to our target, deleting it from our source. And then we did a consistent copy of our database, copying the database from our source, leaving it there and making a consistent copy of that on our target. You know where we like to keep this going in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about moving copy. And as always, be good to each other. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up.